Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to me messing with my E30 340i. Um, I've been driving on the Remnant kit for a couple months now, and it's been fantastic. Uh, Doug is pretty much just finishing up some small revisions. Um, and during that time, I just had one slight thing. I think it could have been me that was doing it, but I'm sure that uh, some of you guys might run into small issues if you didn't do this correctly. Now, I take responsibility because I don't think I tightened it that much. And so, um, it's related to the wastegate. Now, if you have any wastegate codes on any wastegate you've touched, this could be it. Now, if you notice on the factory wastegate, you would have some like wax or paint marks on the nuts. I'm gonna this one you don't. So those wax and paint mark kind of set the area it's supposed to be in, but it also acts kind of like a buffer for preventing the nut from backing out. So um, with all this heat and stuff in the area, uh, that can happen with vibration. Um, and so it looks like this got loose uh, because um, when I started driving after like my last revisions, um, I noticed I got some like weird random like uh, wastegate closing or not working correctly issues. And um, I just went ahead and pulled the intake filter off and then just looked at the wastegate and I noticed that only one of the nuts was actually tightened, the other one wasn't. So um, I just went back with the two 10 millimeter nuts and then tightened it down. Um, and that pretty much fixed the issue. Now, the orientation on these wastegates, uh, especially on the Remnant kit, you want the L this way so that you have no binding. And then that wastegate arm should be as straight as possible. Um, you have some deviation uh, with the actual linkage, but you wanna make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna show you the actual tool that I use to verify that this is working correctly. Now, this tool right here is pretty nice. This is the Altel. Uh, there's a lot of other Chinese tools like this. I prefer this over like the Snap-on Solus and things like that, it's just up to date. They're much cheaper to uh, to get a hold of and you can find one on Amazon for probably less than $400 um, If you don't have the money for that I recommend uh, maybe looking for one in the area or paying somebody a couple extra bucks just to actually look at this to make sure you did this correctly The reason why I like this tool is because you have this function right here Where it's the wastegate value controller and it kind of figures out the stop and the beginning of the actual unit um, And so what it's going to do is identify it's going to tell me the whole process and then when I actually start the process it'll tell me how much I actually have to um, adjust the wastegate by if it's too long or if it's too short. So if I continue, um, you'll probably actually hear the actual adjustment that's occurring. And what it's doing is it's actually checking the actual distance for the wastegate itself. It'll actually move. Now when I do that, um, it'll go through the whole process and I'll actually hear the wastegate kind of moving back and forth and making adjustments. And then it'll tell me that the the test was completed. If you did everything correctly, you'll actually have a wastegate linkage has been properly installed, no fault. Uh, that means that the wastegate is within spec. It's not too long, it's not too short. Um, and this is a pretty much a awesome tool to have if you're doing this because if you're doing it the other way, you're kind of just guessing and basing it off of estimates like I kind of showed you in the install video. Uh, but if you have the actual tool or scan tool or anything like that, you're actually knowing for 100% that it's correct. Um, there's not going to be any issues. So I know, like I said, everybody doesn't have access to this. And I wish that Boot Mod, uh, Boot Mode, or OMHD, or anything else can do this. Uh, but that's the best way that i found that can do this. If I find anything else that's cheaper, um, I'll go ahead and post it on here. But at the time being, uh, that's the only thing I can think of this. So I hope this kind of helps you guys if you have any kind of wastegate codes, whether it's too short, too long, wastegate closed. Uh, but this is definitely related to your wastegate. Um, like I said, this is not failed. It would tell me if it was failed. All it was was just the jam that was a little loose. It looks like it was jamming up and any kind of, of, of resistance on the wastegate is going to go into some kind of limp mode or safe mode, preventing you from getting into boost. So if you have any questions, please let me know and thank you for watching.